What's up guys, Intellizer Studios here, and obviously you guys saw the unboxing of the wind tunnel. So now here's the other machine that I got from Nate as well. This one, hopefully I shouldn't need the tripod, it should be light enough for me to just, you know, grab out of the box normally and not have to worry about it too much. Apologies for the mess in my living room. Moving is a hassle, and it's all going on right now. So that should have it open. Of course, we got, I got, well, not me, I was fine. Nate got screwed over the same way on this machine as he did with the wind tunnel, where they made him pay for shipping, even though I already paid for the shipping, because screw the post office. We have another note in here, or at least screw his post office. My post office has never given me an issue. Hello, Chance M. Thank you for buying my Bissell. I didn't like it. Used it for three months. New cord, brush, belt, bowl. Cleaned inside and out before I used it. Cleaned again prior to shipping. Some parts may be dirty. Thank you, and let me know if this destroyed is destroyed upon arrival. Thank you. Something, something. Omaha, Nebraska, 72521. Lovely. So, we have a Bissell. Oh, here's interesting. Okay, we got some... A brand new pack... Well, brand new? Resealed? Possibly resealed pack of bags. That's very nice. I definitely didn't need any of these. I had like eight of them, but now I have extras, so I'm not complaining one bit. And I believe these will work in the Hoover as well, so... I might just use these in the Hoover. But that's very nice. Got some bags. I can definitely never complain about having extra bags. Oh, they just fell right in that random box. They're Vacuum America Clean. Never had one of these brands before. But they look decent. Oh, is there some genuine Bissell bags in here as well? That That's kind of cool, if so. Or maybe belts or something. Yeah, no, those are the bags. Or maybe it's just the container. Whatever. Either way, I'm not complaining. Free bags. Even if there was only one, or even if there was zero, I wouldn't complain. Because I think this one only cost me like 20, 30 bucks. The wind tunnel was like 70 bucks. Alright, here's the hose. There's all that. Let's see what all is in here. We got the hose, we got the extension wand, and that appears to be mostly it more of these horrible packing peanuts, but that's okay. Got a handle, but it's underneath the main unit. So we'll grab, let's see, can I grab this with one hand? Might be a way to grab this with one hand. Maybe not without the handle. This is light enough, I can just grab it like that. Okay. Some packaging. Is there anything else in here? And we have a handle. I was told that the screw that comes with this handle is a bit funky, so I might swap that out with one of my other 14,000 Bissell power forces. It appears that is everything. Okay, yes, that is everything. So, peanut, 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 so many peanuts, peanut, 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 okay, we get the idea, that's a lot of peanuts, oh, more peanuts, alright, let's open this bad boy up, sticker's still intact, that's nice. Now, some of you might be asking, why did you buy this? You already have a 3522-5. And yes, I do, but that is the one that I've had for the longest out of all the vacuums in my collection, so I'd rather not use it. This I pretty much got because, well, if I want to use one of these old Bissells as a daily driver for a week or however long, or just on and off in between the new Sanitaire that I use, then I can do that. And since I was buying the hoop, or... Since I was buying the Hoover anyways, or maybe I was buying this anyways and I got the Hoover, either way I figured I'll just get both, why not? Because if I don't get it, then probably nobody else will. So, 
And it's kind of like opening a new power force. It's how clean everything is. Although apparently some parts might be a bit dirty. That's no big deal. I did have the 3522-R. I sold that. And I kind of wanted it back. But, you know, as it obviously already been gone. So, just trying to unwrap this with one hand without damaging anything. Oh, including my kneecap. There we go. That feels great. Looks good to me. This actually appears to be a handle for a, from a Dash 5. Bag change indicator, three stage filtration on board tools, quick and easy assembly. Huh. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know which one this is from. No, it doesn't matter. Because I believe this is one that doesn't have the bag change indicator, but I could be wrong, and whether it does or not, I'm not too, I'm not too worried about it. The question is, can I open the package without scratching the very scratchable glossy black plastic that these machines are known to have. We got a power switch. Very nice. Let me set this down real quick. I could grab my tripod, but I'm lazy. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna grab the knife and I'm just gonna cut all this. Very violently and vigorously. this violently and vigorously. Come on. I'm wasting daylight here. see this lovely thing another one of these did the height adjustment level break of course that broke oh well we got some in here oh yeah we do okay we got a crevice tool combination tool Filter. Two screws. I don't know why there's two screws. This handle should only take one screw. And of course, a brand new bag. Let's look at what this bag is. Looks good to me. Looks very generic. Is this that back bag? I don't know what dirty he's referring to. This looks perfectly clean to me. I mean, Whatever, not complaining. Oh no, it's too clean, how dare you? You, you told me it was dirtier, you liar. All right, put that back in. Put this in. That doesn't feel like it's the right filter. But is it? Hmm. It doesn't feel. No, that's not the right filter. It's not the right filter at all. This is a Hoover filter, right? Because it doesn't fit. What about this? All right, that's in there. Got a HEPA. So this is kind of junk, but I mean, I could probably find one of the actual filters. This 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 should do good in the meantime. Eh. Oh well. Not too worried about it. Well, this looks good. So, 
So this isn't a dash one then, is it? This is a dash five. Oh no, it is a dash one. Three five two two dash one. So is this supposed to have the I thought the dash one didn't have the wait a minute, I just remember those two screws are for the hose. Cause this this isn't the twist and snap hose. Oh, that's interesting. So it's still clear, but it's also not a twist and snap. I didn't remember. I didn't remember them making this clear. Huh? I've never had a dash one, so I guess on the dash one they. Oh, this is the dirty he was talking about from this little part. Uh, that's no big deal. So I. I guess that's. All right. Let's just. We'll just stick our fingers in the hole here and pick it up by it. Alright, here's... Okay, that's broken. So here's the handle screw he said was a bit funky. Oh, I see. It's the pointed tip. That's bad. Yeah, we're not putting that in there. I'll grab a different screw. That... Oh, Jesus. So this is broken, so I gotta replace that. Ugh, I love replacing these. I can't find these anymore. I can't find the black ones, but I'm finding the gray ones and the yellow ones. But obviously, I don't know if I want to bother if it's not the right color. But that's no big deal. Those, This is what always fails on these. These are always designed very poorly. And after, you know, 17 years, obviously, it's going to be bad. So you can't do much about that. But whatever. We'll grab the handle. And, of course, slide it right on. Boom. Right on just like that. I've never owned a Dash 1 model. So this is technically still new to me. But isn't this a dash? No? I guess... Oh, I see. Because that's not even showing the twist and snap. That's showing the normal hose. So I guess this is the correct one. This looks like the same sticker from the Dash 5. Hmm. Odd. I've never had one of these Dash 1 models. But it's definitely not a Dash 5. Because the Dash 5 has the twist and snap hose... And the Dash 5 doesn't have the wide headlight, the wide headlight like this. The Dash 5 has the small peanut style bulb. So it is a different model than the one, it is technically a different model than the one that I have. So I can somewhat, oh Jesus, I can somewhat justify having this. Come on, go back up. Yeah, this one's really bad. Because sometimes if you put them up, they'll still hold. This one really doesn't want to hold. Whatever. Okay, so... I will wear, okay, so here are the two screws. Put this screw in a different pistol and take that screw and put it in this one. I got the screw. It doesn't match, but it's going to be inside the handle, so you're not going to see it anyways. Who cares? You can't even see that. There we go. Okay, now we can put this in there, it says check and change bag often for maximum cleaning performance, and it says that it uses style scent bags, which is nice. Alright, so now, this hose comes right up here, you can twist this so it goes on properly this way, just like that, even that out a bit, twist it so it's even, and there we go. Now we can grab our extension wand, put the crevice tool inside of it, and put that on, grab our combo tool, ow. Grab our combo tool, snap that right up, right on the back, right there, just like that. Move this stupid sock out of the way, move this stupid bag out of the way, move all this crap out of the way. And now, we're going to eat this croissant. This looks disgusting. And it tastes disgusting. But I paid three dollars for it, so I'm gonna eat it. And then we're gonna go ahead and run this vacuum. 
so as I was reading this bag, this says back America clean. See, it even shows America. It uh, shows an American flag in the shape of America, obviously implying that this was made in America. You can see Illinois, somewhere right there, give or take. Also, apparently Michigan doesn't exist, or I guess just covered up by the sea. But you can tell there's Minnesota, there's Wisconsin, there's Michigan. So Illinois should be like right around there. So I'm right in the sea. Which makes sense. Because my name starts with the sea. But I'm, I don't live in the sea, I live on land. But whatever. But that's not the point. The point is that this implies it's made in America. And it says right here, design, you see I'm, I'm using my croissant as a pointing device. It's designed and developed in the USA, which that part's good, but it's made in PROC, P-R-O-C. You know what that stands for, unironically? The People's Republic of China, which means China. America's best vacuum bags were made in China. I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. All right, so I also looked in this pack of bags and there are five HEPA bags and then two genuine Bissell uh, crappy paper bags. So that is nice. Plenty of extra bags. Not anything to complain about there. Get that box out of the way. And we're going to try out this machine. So I'm going to unwind the cord on this. I don't know if this is a new cord. Oh, I already forgot what that note said. But it looks like a very nice cord. Oh yeah, I do believe the cord was replaced with a nice long cord and a very high quality cord at that. So very, very nice indeed. Nothing to complain about there. Put it in, but that one has not yet caught fire. So let's see. Yep, the bag is in there. That filter is kind of kind of suspect, but as long as the bag is good, it shouldn't be a big deal. I might be able to find one of those filters on eBay along with the pedal release, and at that point, this thing would be pretty much perfect. I need to look at the bottom of it. Oh, wow, that's an interesting brush roll. I've never seen one of these brush rolls put in a Bissell before. I'm always used to the genuine Bissell brush rolls. But look at that. It's a nice... Is that plastic or wood? It's a nice flat roller. Again, it's a very thick roll too. So the actual bristles don't stick out a whole lot. In fact, they don't really stick out a lot beyond the edge of the vacuum. But still, it looks decent. I mean, we'll, we'll see how this brush roll does. Spins good, belt feels good, all that. High adjustment feels good. Obviously, I'll leave it on the medium setting. Wheels look good. Uh, there's some dust down here. Some dirt, actually. Probably from the minimal usage. That's okay. Not a big deal. This is also kind of scuffed up. Again, not a big deal. I already have one of these that's actually for the collection, and that's in better condition than this is. This high adjustment actually feels like it's a bit off balance. Like this side feels higher up than this side does. Oh well. Shouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. So, we'll put the cord in the cord clip since this one actually seems to hold the cord without damaging it like the wind tunnel does. One thing I do like more about the Bissells. And move this cord out of the way and give this a run. What was that popping noise? Huh. Is it the filter popping in place? Huh. I don't know. It's very quiet. Compared to a lot of other Bissells that I've seen. 
Yeah, it like sucks the door in. to say actually using one of these old style ones again it really makes you realize how poorly the build quality of these power forces have deteriorated over time the one thing they've improved on the newest model 
is to an extent the handle and the pedal release is a million times better but other than that and obviously you can see the the pedal release is a failure point on these but other than that these machines are built very well they last a long time and given the fact that these when they first came out were forty dollars like literally forty dollars yeah sure like that's forty dollars in 2002 to 2006 money but still 40 bucks got you really good carpet cleaning performance, a somewhat usable hose, not ideal, but a somewhat usable hose. You got a headlight, a bag check indicator, a, you know, good enough length of cord for, you know, your average apartment or relatively small house where, you know, you, if, you, if you don't mind unplugging it for every room. You know, you can add a HEPA filter to it, you can add HEPA bags to it. Those are all expansions you can do. You can buy a turbo brush. You can buy them at the time. You could buy the more expensive Power Glide Platinum and get a lot of those features built in and a wider cleaning path with the see-through window and a longer cord. And yet a very solid machine for the price point. Legitimately. Like, sure, if you didn't clean up the brush roll, the bearings would, you know, potentially go bad. If you didn't keep it clean and the brush roll seized up. And then obviously the pedal release is broke on these. But other than that, I mean, they really do a great job. And I need to get that red hair dye out of the carpet. But yeah, it is really nice to have one of these again. That I can actually use, you know, without having to yank my old one out of the closet at my dad's house. And um, if slash when I do replace that pedal then I may actually make this my daily driver instead of the sanitaire. I might even rob the hose from it so I have a stretch hose. Other than that, I mean, this thing really, I mean, honestly, even that's kind of hard to justify because, yeah, it's a stretch hose, but the actual hose is a lot worse quality, a lot thinner, cheaper plastic. This, this thing is robust. Like, there's not really much to complain about given the price point and of course people do, do still find a way to complain about these especially the bagless models and the bagless models do deserve a lot of the complaints with the filtration and all that but these are always solid and you know there's really not enough good things I can say about them as far as their value prospect for the price given how well these things clean and perform and how easy and lightweight they are to use for the price you know, they really, they really have fallen quite a fair bit since 2002, 2004, 5, you know. But yeah, so that's that. Along with the wind tunnel, these are very nice machines. Obviously, they're in relatively similarly competitive price brackets. Obviously, that wind tunnel would have compared more with the power glides of the time. This would have competed more with the very early tempos. And obviously a lot of people, a lot more people bought these given they were quite literally half the price. Because actually the entry level tempos were about as much as the entry level power glides. And obviously most people just elected to buy this for half the price instead. So these, there are a lot of these still out there. A lot of them are still running for good reason. Because they don't have the same motor problems that a lot of the bagless ones do because, you know, as long as you change your bag, as long as you change your bag and have a somewhat decent quality bag in there, you're never even going to have to clean the pre-motor filter realistically. I know I never did in the eight years that I had mine. And, you know, throw a HEPA bag in there and throw a HEPA filter on the exhaust to catch the carbons and you got a damn good machine. And that's something that, I, you know, people will bicker about. I don't know, you know, because obviously Nate didn't like this. And I... Honestly, can't understand why. Now, sure, pedal release, obviously, but as far as the machine itself, I mean, I mean, obviously they're not for everybody, but I like them, and I recommend these to customers all the time. If you want something cheap that gets the job done, there's not much better you can do than a bag power horse. 
And as long as you take care of the machine, it's never going to let you down. But, oh well, that's just me on my soapbox, I guess. And speaking from experience, repairing these machines for well over 15 years, I know these things like the back of my hand. And, uh, yeah, just kind of come to love them over the years. For just their simplicity, no pun intended. But, yeah. Anyways, that's enough about me ranting. Very cool to get this back. Very appreciative to get this from Nate J. His channel link will be in the description, just like with the wind tunnel. And, uh, yes, to answer your question, it did arrive in one piece. I mean, technically it didn't because it wasn't multiple pieces, but no more pieces than you packed it. You know, so. Arrived safe. Obviously, you got screwed over by the post office, and they double-charged you for the same label and put two tracking numbers. And, um, yeah. So anyways, this is Intel Tech Studio signing out. See you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. Peace.